The Edmonton McDavid's, or excuse me, not the McDavid's, we're done calling them the Edmonton McDavid's, right? They're the Oilers. This team is blowing my mind. Now, I'll say this at the very beginning. I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan, and I have been for the majority of my life over here. So it kind of pains me to talk about the Oilers in this positive of a way. But I'm not going to lie. Even though I kind of hate the Oilers, I kind of hate the Flames, I hate all the rivalries the Vancouver Canucks have, it makes me so happy just seeing a lot of the guys on this Oilers team doing as well as they have been. And as a result, it's really paid dividends to the Oilers on the spreadsheets, not only just on the advanced analytics and all the data metrics and all that, but just in terms of the plain old regular points that this team is just finding so many ways to impress me and everybody else in the hockey world. Right now, the Edmonton Oilers are the best team in the National Hockey League. 10 points, 5 games played, 5-0-0. Oh, oh. They are undefeated, and everybody who is gelling on this team is gelling in a bigger, better way than we have ever seen them before. Where do we start? Okay, we start off with the guy whose name has been plastered all over the NHL and who has been the face of not only this team but the league itself the past few years. Let's talk about Connor McDavid because he's got 13 points right now in five games. He is on pace for 213 points and he's got multiple points in every game so far. You know, it's kind of a pipe dream to think about the Gretzky record. I know, right? It's so bad that I'm bringing up the Gretzky record, but it's kind of crazy that we're thinking about the NHL single season point record for one NHL player, which is 215 points set by Wayne Gretzky in 1985-1986, and... We're actually witnessing a season that only five games in, I'll say that, only five games, things can change tomorrow, things can change in a week. Right now, Connor McDavid is on pace to being in that territory. And if you've been watching all the highlights, you leave Sportsnet on as you go to bed or whatever, you see everything that goes on in Edmonton every time this team plays a hockey game. Connor McDavid has just taken a step above and beyond that it's kind of crazy to even think that there was a beyond. You know, a few seasons ago, last season even, we saw McDavid just torch the league and do as well as he has been, but it feels like this season things have been unlocked. Here's a post from the Oilers subreddit showing off the projections of the 81-82 Gretzky goal record, which was 92 goals in a season, and the 85-86 Gretzky points record, which was 215, versus the 2021-2022 Connor McDavid year. And you can see that so far, through four games played, this graphic does not showcase the fifth game, which was played the other night. Connor McDavid is... So far, doing better than Gretzky did at the start of those years. Now, again, five games, things can go completely haywire by game eight. Connor McDavid needs 20 points by eight games played to eclipse Wayne Gretzky's 85-86 point record. But, I mean, he's at 13 right now. He's got, what, three games to get seven more points? And considering Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid... I wouldn't put it past the guy to get seven points in three games, you know? So I know it's really early to bring this up, but at the end of the day, you can't ignore good players doing good player things. And when it comes to other good players on the Edmonton Oilers, hey, who is second in NHL points right now? It's Leon Dreisaitl, 11 points in five games played. Connor's on pace for 213 through five games. If you do Leon, 11 divided by five multiplied out by 82. He's on pace for 180. So that's not bad. Definitely not bad in the slightest. So for Dreisaitl, seeing him at the top of the points sheet as well certainly is not a surprise. They are first and second in front of Anze Kopitar, Kuznetsov, and Ovechkin. But things get really interesting when you take a look at who was tied for fourth in the NHL in points at the time of recording this video. Jesse Pugliarvi has eight points in the five games played. He's got two goals and six assists on the year. And I know, oh, he's only got those points because he's playing with McDavid, you know? Like, he played with Connor McDavid. Alex Chason was a 20-goal guy playing with Connor Mack. So, obviously, Pugliarvi, who was a talented NHL player himself, is going to get a whole bunch of points playing with Connor, too. But, you know, it's a lot more than that. 
There's a lot more than meets the eye when just saying, okay, he's got eight points in five games played and he's one of the top players in the league. Sure, it's good. But this is the redemption story we have been waiting for when it comes to Jesse Pugliarvi. The up and downs in Finland and the AHL, the weird transition two seasons ago. Ken Holland wanted to keep patience with this guy. They did, and guess what? It's paying even more dividends with how he has played so far. He's been all over the puck. He's a big bison out there with a frame that's hard to knock the puck off of and a snipe that he can bring out once in a while. I know it's fair to bring up the idea, oh, he needs to play away from McDavid so he can actually develop other parts of his game. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. This is a prime example of that. It's working. There's no reason to break it up. And Pugliarvi, if you take a look at where he is in the assist category, hey, he's one of the top assist guys in the NHL. Guess who leads the league in assists? Connor McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Nugent Hopkins are all tied with seven, and Pugliarvi has six. So the top four guys are all Edmonton Oilers for assists. This team is just scoring goals, and the same guys are getting on the score sheet time in and time out. The Oilers lead the league in goals four with 24. And Wayne Gretzky went out there and even said that their power play, he's not sure if his own power play in the 80s was as good as this power play here today. If you're getting compliments from Wayne Gretzky, you're probably doing something right. And when your power play unit is compared to a unit that had like, what, 350 goal scorers in the 80s? Yeah, it's kind of difficult to not see what's going on in Edmonton and at least admire, you know? At least respect what's going on. I guess I'm kind of biased too, mostly because I'm a big fan of Pugliarvi and I really like his interviews. I think everybody loves his interviews, don't they? He is just an adorable ball of kindness and purity, I guess you could say, that he is such a joy to listen to whenever he goes out there and talks to the media. But it's not even just the top guys. Nugent Hopkins, Dreisaitl, McDavid, Pugliarvi, nah. Zach Hyman is out here as one of the top guys as well, and it's kind of crazy to see how well he's doing so far in this young NHL season. Five games played, five goals, and I know Toronto Maple Leafs fans are looking at Zach Hyman and saying, man, this sucks. Because Matthews and Marner, these guys aren't scoring any goals. But guess what? Hyman has more than all of them combined. So just seeing what Hyman has done so far, definitely a good addition to this Oilers squad. A lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Like, I thought Hyman would not really live up to that contract he was given. It's a big amount of money and all that. But I'll give the guy full credit. He is going out there and he is producing. So, good to see him going out there doing his thing. Not only just these guys, but Zach Cassian. Take a look at where the Oilers rank in terms of their overall point production. Zach Cassian is out here, matching his point production from last season in a significantly fewer amount of games played. He had 5 points in 27 games last season, he's got 5 points in 4 games this year. Now, granted, he also matched his penalty minutes total, but come on, it's Zach Cassian. What more are you going to expect? Once Ryan Nugent Hopkins goes out there and actually scores his first NHL goal, he will break into the top of the league in points. He is currently in that big tie for, what is it, 7th in the league with Kairu, Meyer, Connor, Bjorkstrand, and a few other guys. So once he gets his first NHL goal for the year, he'll break up into the top spot. Edmonton is just dominating the score sheet when it comes to outscoring their problems and winning hockey games because of it. Mike Smith, even though he is out right now, was already doing pretty good. A 9-2-0 save percentage certainly isn't anything to scoff at, but I'll give full credit to Miko Koskinen as well for stepping in there and getting a 9-4-3 and a 2-0-3 goals against so far in the season two. So for Edmonton, everything is going right. The guys you want to score are scoring, the goaltenders are making saves, the team is winning all these games, and you're producing at a rate that is so above and beyond. Wayne Gretzky is comparing his power play unit to yours. Everything is looking good for the Oilers, except, I guess, for Kyler Yamamoto, who hasn't scored a point yet. But either way, I think it would be kind of greedy to ask for any more points from any of the other guys on this lineup. So talk to me in the comments what do you think about the Edmonton Oilers and how they've performed so far. Are you as hyped up to see Connor McDavid do as well as I am? You know, I get it. People don't like the Oilers, and I don't really like the Oilers either. I just like a few of their guys, and I like seeing good hockey, and I like seeing points. So... Edmonton, checking all those boxes right now, kind of makes it tough to dislike them, but I'm still a Canucks fan at heart, aren't I? So, gotta have my biases somewhere. Let me know in the comments what do you think. I hope you enjoyed this with Josh Rolls and I9.
and bye. <laughs>